Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Al Habib of devtv.org. At devtv.org, we profile innovations and individuals within economic development with the primary aim of spreading good practice across economic development projects and showcase and begin to show the, uh, people that are outside of economic development that we are doing really good work and we're achieving good things within economic development. But as part of that, though, uh, we need to reflect refine and revise some of the some of the things and approaches that we have some of the behaviors that we 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 as economic development experts um, um, carry on uh, that we do so we need to we need to really reflect on those things and hopefully refine them and change them for the better today's topic then is about economic development professionals behavioral change so Economic development essentially believes or perhaps is based on the premise that it is private sector actors and the beneficiaries that needs to go through a behavioral change so we can have uh, an inclusive growth. Uh, in in the in the private sector, so private sector actors need to be a bit more inclusive of the poor, and the poor need to behave in such a way that will be uh, will allow them to uh, plug plug into the inclusiveness or the inclusive approach of the private sector uh, companies and partners. So that's essentially what uh, what we're supposed to be promoting. Now, in promoting this stuff, though, uh, we have not done as much of self-reflecting and self-addressing um, as I think we should have, we should do. Um, we continuously talk about the approach that we we take. We continue, we continuously uh, write papers and discuss issues around methodologies and approaches, but that's quite separate from the behavior of private sector uh, development consultants. It is best practice to go and sell an innovation or perhaps develop an innovation together with a partner and then begin to sell it to the wider market so you can get it to scale. But what we do is a slight variation of that. What we do is offer sweetness to private sector actors to behave in a certain way with the hope that in behaving in that way and seeing the benefit, they would then make that change, that behavior change permanent. This has proven not to work because, and I say that because in some sectors in countries, uh, they've done, there have been several projects doing exactly the same thing in the same sector um, and nothing has changed. So. What then do we have to do as professionals? It appears to me that we need to really limit the use of sweetness. I know in approaches this is what we keep saying constantly. But when we're doing implementation, we use sweetness. We, the shortcut to getting private sectors to behave in the way that you want them to behave is, is, is sweetness. And you can see the evidence. If you go back if a year, even less than a year after a project has concluded, go back and look at the partner if genuinely they've continued to behave in the way that they were behaving when they had a sweetener. Very often it isn't the case. So we as professionals then need to really focus on this. We need to really, if we are keen to make impacts as opposed to just tick boxes for our donors, we then need to really examine how we sell partnership, how we sell the benefit of partnership with economic projects. We need to really think about the way we behave in in selling or engaging with private sectors and and. Uh, uh, beneficiaries. We appear to be a lot more prescriptive in the way we approach our partners and the way we engage with, with the beneficiaries. We, in some cases, even dict dictatorial. Um, we lack the co-creating emphasis that we really ought to be pushing within economic development, that the methodologies that were designed 
was designed to promote co-creation but we do not do as much in terms of co-creating solutions and implementing development initiatives or innovations together with the private sector so i believe that we need to look at ourselves as development professionals look at the lack of flexibility that we bring into our approach and discipline. We need to look at the way we're very prescriptive in our language and the, and the in implementation strategies that we adopt. We appear to be keen on workshops, training, seminars. Those are very useful tools, but they're only useful if the proper sales job has been done in the first place if you've been able to convince people your partner your primary partner to behave without a sweetener these are the areas that i think we really need to focus on and we really need to examine this is just an opinion this is my opinion by my limited experience across africa and um, some 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 other areas um, uh, we we need to really consider how we implement projects perhaps you can come on here and tell me that i'm talking rubbish or perhaps you can tell me exactly what it is that i have missed um and what particular behavior we need to change as professionals um i, I welcome uh, we can have a discussion online uh, you can be on skype on on this channel you can be live on this channel uh, you, we, we can be in the same space just please send me a message or leave a comment below so we can get a discussion going so we can begin to examine exactly what it is that we do and how we can do it better so thank you for watching this and thank you for watching it to the end and until next time